back to Jax does Homestuck. Um, this is Jax, aka Jackie, aka I don't know, whatever the fuck. And <laughs> I've been putting off this episode for no good goddamn reason. I've just been making a horrible pastime decisions, I guess. Or it's like, no, this doesn't feel right yet. It's just not in the right mood for it yet. And now it's fucking 1030 Sunday night when I was supposed to be getting this, like, published on Saturday. And so now I'm just going to be like, okay, if I can get it on the weekend, then that's good. So it's still the weekend. <clears throat> so here I am. Um, but we're here to talk about Pester Quest. Uh, so Pester Quest came out on Wednesday. We have Routes 1 and 2, which is John and Rose. It should be obvious, but this is going to be a spoiler-heavy uh, episode. All of my my bonuses about Pester Quest are going to be, I give you those couple of days so you can get it or watch videos about it. I did my own live stream, um, and it's up on my YouTube channel. I'm, I think I'm going to be doing live streams for each of them. I'm not really sure because I didn't plan on doing a live stream until the day I did a live stream. So who knows? Life is funny like that. But I mean, like plenty of people are doing live streams like um, Anna, who has been on the podcast before, uh, articulate, articulately composed, uh, is doing live streams with actual like dubs and stuff. So that's always good. Like, you know, a bunch of people are doing live streams. So you can always find that. So. Um, Pastor Quest is basically friend sim with. The Homestuck characters, except different. So usually the two routes that come out in episode can be played in whatever order you want. For this, it seems because in this first episode, it that's how it is. Um, you have to play John and then Rose if you want to get the full context. I mean, there's not a whole lot you're missing out on if you play Rose first. It's just very obvious that you're supposed to be playing John then Rose. Um, so, so yeah, because it like Rose ends up mentioning that, that you were over with John and everything. But, uh, so let's start with John. Uh, so John's route starts off with the, uh, MSPAR with MC with you finishing reading the epilogues in, um, Doc, Doc Scratch's house and hating that and end up getting uh, the retcon powers that John has. And I'm not going to do a rundown of absolutely everything that happens in this because this is supposed to just be like a quick like 15, 20 minute episode or something, not like the whole fucking thing. So, um, but yeah, so like already starting off with a mood is like, that's where it leaves off. I'm like, yeah, it does. I'm sorry. Um, and then we get to go see John. Um, and the first thing we fucking do besides lose our goddamn memories, which is heartbreaking. Um, is we get rid of S verb. MSPAR dunks s -burb into the fucking sewer and it's gone. John doesn't have s -burb. So either what's going to happen in this offshoot timeline, which, because we don't know how real MSPAR's timeline is, because on the one hand, yeah, there is a reader that's mentioned in Homestuck Canon, on the other hand, like, what has happened with uh, all the trolls and friends sim is said to be non-canonical just to be like, hey, now you know these characters and that's why everything was, like, funky with time shenanigans and everything. At the same time, um, you know, uh, they do have these retcon powers now, like the real straight up John's retcon powers. So, I, again, you know, I, I understand people who, like, say, okay, Homestuck ended, uh, Act 7, everything after that is fluff that doesn't mean anything. And maybe that's true. But 
the way this timeline is going is either A, um, the three kids connect without John and John is left to die uh, and a bunch of shit gets messed up. Or no one gets an S verb. No one plays the game. Which means that none of them should exist because they all exist because of the game. I mean, there's a bunch of, like, things for that, too. It's like, you know, they'll never meet any of the trolls, which is sad. Um, me and some other people have been joking. It's like, well, this is how John Dave still can still win. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, like, there's a lot of big fucking implications. Basically, Homestuck doesn't happen after the first, like, 20 or so pages. I, I forget how many pages into it you get um, before John had been talking to Dave and then looks out to see if the mail flap thingy is up. So, um, there's just so much there. Like, Esper, like, home stuff doesn't happen. Um, the, the alpha kids don't exist. Like, I don't know. There's a lot. <laughs> and we're not going to really understand what, what is happening until later on, but this is so different from friend sim where the first two routes were pretty like typical homestuck. Like, I mean, this is typical homestuck in a different way, but it's like, yeah, you're just befriending these, uh, these people. And that's it. This is like literally like, Oh, the most important thing in homestuck. It's gone now. Um, so there's that. And, fucking John's route killed me so much. There just kept being allusions to, it was like, yeah, well, I guess meeting you, Mr. Man Man, is like the most exciting thing that's ever gonna happen in my life. And it's like, yes, surely, there could never be possibly any other thing more exciting that could ever happen to this boy. And I'm like, you're killing me. And then we see fucking meet John and uh, the kids from the Doom timeline there. And it's like, man, that was something else. And it's just, there's so much. There's so much about it. But I did freaking love Dave's cameo in there. Um, for one, I love voicing Dave. I love everything Dave says. Uh, so Dave just being like, you know, starting off like, this is fucking stupid, Edward. Get your head in the game. And then finally accepting it. It's like, yeah, I can't wait till this weird mailman comes to visit me too. It's, John Dave is still real. <laughs> Um, so there's, there's that, that's pretty exciting. And that's also like, Hey, so there's going to be like more cameos and other, um, and other routes, which is neat because again, in friend sim, like we didn't get cameos of future characters until, or we didn't get cameos of future characters, period. We got cameos of past characters. Uh, the exception would be, uh, Gallic in, uh, Tagora's route, but I don't know if that was supposed to be Gallic at the time or just turned into Gallic whenever to, uh, what is it? Galgora? Is that the ship name? Whenever those shippers won. Um, <laughs> if that got like retroactively made into Gallic or if that was the plan from the beginning. But that's it. Um, we don't get those future characters. And yeah, it's different because we already know all these characters because they're Homestuck characters, but still. So um, then we go on to Rose's uh, route, which is a lot less meta fucked up and more just like personally fucked up. Like Beta Roxy. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Fucking Rose only eating oatmeal basically for almost every meal. <clears throat> it's fucking sad times, yo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but then uh, another weird thing that, you know, it gets us out of what we're used to from Friend Sim is there's usually two main decisions. The first one, which is a quick bad end, or you continue on with the rest of the game. Uh, or the rest of the route or and then there's the second one which is a longer bad end or the long good end 
But in Rose's route, the the first choice leads you to a quick route like to just continue on with everything. And then what would normally be the bad route is actually just a longer way to get to where the first choice where the other choice gets you. And you get to see uh, Roxy. You get to see Beta Roxy being incredible and summoning goddamn tigers. And um and that was just a really neat neat like side thing there because I was on Dami's uh, live stream later on and Dami was like okay well I want to do the bad ends first so which of the, these choices is the bad end and I'm like well do you want the interesting uh route or the uninteresting route and they were like what so that's pretty that's pretty exciting too I did forget to mention Dami also did a stream and will probably still be doing streams uh it's just gonna be like later in the day uh because they get off work late but um but yeah, so Rose's Root is, is something else. And both, uh, I keep going back and forth between saying route and root. I, they both good. Anyway, but both uh, John and Rose's are like, like you go down the bad end and for a while you're like, wait, is this the bad end? Because this seems like it could be the good end. And yeah, it's both the bad end. Like I swear, especially Rose's good end, I really thought was going to be the bad end with uh mspar just being like i'm going to have this really simple solution to fix alcoholism and rose talking to jade and basically calling them out about it and it was very very good it was also nice to see jade and rose talking because they do not talk a lot in canon um so i'm very i'm very very excited um i love how protective MSPAR is being with these kids because like with John's even with John's dad like there was just a hint of something and uh, MSPAR was ready to throw down and in Roxy's like they really went to town on that and like I know what we're all waiting for <laughs> is fucking Dave's route um cause bro is gonna be there and so and me and a bunch of other people I saw on Tumblr are like, uh, well, I guess the obvious solution there is uh, MSPAR is going to fucking teleport bro into the middle of the ocean. And yeah, that's that's pretty legit. I'm very I'm so nervous. I love Dave and I can't wait to read Dave talk so much, but I'm so fucking nervous about bro being around. So nervous about everything. However, I am excited. Um, God, who was it on Twitter? I should have looked this up before I started this, but God forbid I uh, prepare anything for bonus episodes. Like, this ain't even going to be edited. You're going to hear ums and all my fucking throat clearing bullshit. Um, I think it was Trace on, on Twitter uh, gave us a sneak peek of Jade's root and it was just the word furry which is great. Homestuck.info has gotten a lot of the assets out. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, I am hesitant. Like, I looked at the assets, but after I looked at it, I'm like, did I really want to see this? Or did I just want to wait for stuff to come out? Uh, Cause that was kind of my problem whenever I, you know, it came out while I was at work. The, the same time this podcast gets released actually Wednesday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, so it came out while I was work and people were just immediately like, oh yeah, well, we're going to need, uh, Dave and, and Jade and Roxy voices. And I'm like, ah, I didn't want to know that. Thanks. I didn't want to know that. I wanted to come in this blind and this has literally been less than an hour since it was out. And you're already telling me what other voices we need in here. Um... So, yeah, I mean, God, sucks to be everyone on Twitter who doesn't want to know shit because no one, no one was tagging anything. I mean, there were some people who were, but the vast majority of people I saw in my timeline, and maybe yours is more forgiving, but no one was tagging jack shit. Like, you just couldn't be on Twitter for that time. That was that. Like, sorry. Um... So I avoid posting untagged spoilers 
Uh, for this, I'm going to avoid it until uh, the next route comes out. And then I'm like, that's it. Um, on Tumblr, I have my, uh, like, I have a separate Tumblr just to post, post spoilers on because I get annoyed at tagging a bunch. So I'm like, fuck it. This is a, a spoiler blog. This is literally only here for spoilers. If you follow this blog, you are here for spoilers. So, so that's my solution is I just don't post anything on Twitter unless it's specifically tagged or I decide to tag it and I, I have a separate Tumblr for it. If you're interested in that Tumblr, it's S A. Yeah, it's. S.A. Dragon Spoilers. Yeah. Um, and so so there's that. The other thing I wanted to talk about, which I really, really like, because it's my boy. Uh, so at the beginning, or towards the beginning of John's route, whenever you get the, I think it's whenever you get the retcon powers and you're about to, like, transportalize to wherever John is, um you get a glimpse of a uh, a RENP, a RENP error. And RENP is the um, the software, it, it's the game engine basically that a lot of visual novels are made in. Uh, it's free, you should check it out. I have my own visual novel that I'm doing. It's not Homestuck related. I have a Homestuck dating visual novel. I'm not really doing anything with it. Anyway, so um, uh, sometime I want to tear it apart because I can't fucking figure out how to move sprites that well. And so I just want to dig through their code and see how they do it. Um, rather than Googling it like the normal person would be. But anyway, the point is a RENP code comes up and um, the code is, I think it's called you do not exist or something like that. Do not, ex something about you not existing. And, um, and then there was like a bunch of garbled mess underneath, which other people who are smarter than me translated. I mean, they didn't like translate it by hand. They found a software to translate it for them, but they knew what, not software, whatever. They knew what to translate it from and into. And it, uh, you can find screen caps about this. I'm not looking at it. This is just me going off the cuff. But it basically is like, um, Hey, Rose, did you feel that someone's uh, fucking around with a n? That's not verbatim. That's basically what it says. But it's Dirk feeling MSPAR messing with the narrative. His narrative. That's what is assumed. Like maybe he is sensing a different narrative, a different timeline. But I don't think he'd be quite as concerned about it or seemingly concerned about it if it was just some other random timeline. Anyway, it's my boy. He's there. I love him so much. Um, for those of you in Hot where I was really vague about that, that's Dirk. Dirk from the end of the Meat epilogues, um, who I love with all my soul more than any human person or earthly pleasure. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that's basically it. I, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about this whole fucking thing. I'm excited about getting myself motivated to not do these at 10.30 uh, p.m. on Sunday night instead of having it uploaded by midday Saturday, like is my intention. And maybe next time I'll actually edit it. But um, anyway, that's what I got going on. And I want to say I'm going to have a bonus episode next Saturday, but I'm not thinking I'm going to. Um, I have a very exciting episode coming up this Wednesday. Um, I'm, I don't want to say it. Like, I want to be more uh, uh, transparent about what episodes I'm going to have, like, especially the week or two before. But it's just sometimes I'm dealing with what other people are able to do. And I don't know, like if something comes up, I don't want it to be like, oh, no, well, you said you're going to have this. And now it's this instead. But anyway, so just just look forward to this Wednesday. It's going to be good. And uh, and hopefully I get stuff prepared for next week because my mom is coming into town this weekend. And this week and the weekends are usually my last ditch effort to get shit out. Um, before Wednesday. So, uh, there's that. 
Oh, also, I do have my first uh, patron stuck episode, which is what I'm calling it, where if you uh, give me $1 or more a month on Patreon, you get access to bonus content. And our first bonus episode is out. It is me and Abby, who has been on previous episodes. And if uh, she is on too many more, I am going to have to legally call her a co-host. Uh, and we talked about Wolf 359 and we, we class bet characters and talk about shipping and it's all very good. Um, if you don't know Wolf 359, Wolf, I can't say it. I keep saying Wolf 59. Anyway, Wolf 359 is a podcast it, it's over now and um it deals with people in space and it's like vaguely homestuck adjacent we talk about that in the episode so if you want to hear about it uh starting at one dollar you can get access to listening to it which is pretty exciting maybe if that's something you care about i'm gonna try to do those episodes more often too now that i've started um we'll see how it goes so um yeah and if I haven't reached out to you about scheduling your episode yet. It's coming. I have more episodes being scheduled, especially now that we have reached our um, goal of $18 a month, which means I can up my plan to give you guys more content so I can have bonus episodes instead of having to make it a real episode and just putting off other stuff for weeks. So expect more guests, more discussions, more bonus episodes. I am very excited. It is very exciting. Um, I just need to get my ass in gear and schedule better and like contact people. Uh, if there's anything you guys want from the show, let me know. Um, because I mean, I, I take your input and come into the discord. I have it linked below. I have it linked on my website. I have it linked on my Twitter. I should have it linked on my Tumblr. Um, and yeah, and because you get uh, to put your opinions in the show, we talk about stuff, I post memes that I think are funny, <laughs> uh, you can mute that, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's just a good place to, to come hang out and um, just kind of get in the mix, and also a lot of my guests are on there, so you'll get to see what cool stuff they have going on, and um, yeah, come come join the Discord. So I think that's about it. Um, I went over 20 minutes partially because I can't stop talking about things that are not the subject of this and instead just talk about myself a lot. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, so thank you. I, again, I don't know if I'm going to have a bonus episode out next weekend, um, but I will have one out hopefully actually on Saturday uh, after Pastor Quest comes out two weeks from now because this next Wednesday and then the week after I don't know if you call that two weeks from now it is kind of so yeah thank you guys for listening so much I appreciate all your support it's been rolling in um and I really <laughs> I you know I god I talk about this every fucking episode but this started out as just a little like blip of an idea and you guys are like responding to it and it's really great and you guys are listening and I don't know I love it speaking of supporting me fucking I always forget to do this sorry Abby but thank you to Kansas just got gayer who is my uh what did I call the tier that you are in anyway uh she's she's a tier on my patreon that gets a shout out you can also be a tier on my patreon that gets a shout out it starts at five dollars a month I think and um, you can go up from there. And if you want to spend $50 a month, you get a spot on my website that everyone pays attention to. But uh, yeah, there, there's stuff um, that you get for being a Patreon. And one is me forgetting to promo you on my episodes. So anyway, thank you. I will see you Wednesday. Wednesday.